hey, hey, what it do, what it do. This is your boy, KQKC Boxing Network. Throwing down on a late evening video. First of all, I want to thank all, I mean all my chat for their support and for their concern. And I want to thank them for their super chat, PayPal, and cash apps. And I want to thank them for their presence and their patience. And therefore, let's talk about it. Mikey Garcia want to be one of the top welterweights at 147. He wants to fight Sean Porter. He wants to prove his toughness. He wants to prove that he can hang he wants to prove that he belongs. But it's just one problem. I get that you fundamentally sound Mikey Garcia. I get that you had an outstanding record. I get you had an outstanding career. But sometimes you have to be realistic. You have to stay in your lane. And your lane is not at 147. Your ass whoopings would be at 147. Sean Porter is strong. Sean Porter is a come forward fighter. Sean Porter will take you and swing you around the ring like a motherfucking rag doll. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mikey Garcia fans. You know KQ call it like it is. So, Mikey Garcia will not be no top 147 champion not in my eyes because first of all you got to get through the big 147 welterweights second of all you have to get through the top welterweight which is Earl Spencer Jr. which you have not done now sure you have called him ordinary sure you have said that he's nothing special but the night that you fought him, I wonder, did the words utter out your mouth? That night that he whooped your ass from pillow to post, did that utter out your mouth? So somebody, somebody tell me, what's the hell wrong with Mikey Garcia? Because I remember when he fought Earl Spence. He didn't talk to his kids. He was licking his lips, tongue going out like a snake. What that tells you, what that shows you, that shows you is some type of uh, concussion. Look it up, look it up. So, is he realistic about taking over 147? No, he's not. It cannot be done at his size at his short arms his arms are almost like a legal dwarf his arms are too short I'm sorry that jab not only from Earl from anyone Terrence Crawford anyone would stop him from getting on the inside he would take more punishment trying to land a punch then a uh, 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 winning one you have to understand yes fundamentals win fights footwork win fights but you have to understand when you bigger stronger and walk through punches that also win fights yes Mikey Garcia has great fundamental skills he has great defensive skills, period. He has enough to keep your ass off of him for a couple rounds. But that will grow old. That will wear him down. That will make his ass turn around and say, I can't take no more. That will make his ribs hurt. That will make his head hurt. We won't talk about how he will get beat up, busted up. Now, I get it. We all get it. 
I don't know if it's cloud chasing. I don't know if he's trying to get that bag before he calls it quits. Because in realistic times, he's an old, or let me put it this way, he's a young veteran. You see, all those years at top rank took a toll on him. All those wins in a row took a toll on him. All those rough, tough fights. Adrian Broner, Jesse Vargas, Earl Spence took a toll on him. It doesn't matter who your trainer is. It doesn't matter who your brother is. I'm sorry, Mikey. You are not the top welterweight now or you would never be. Now, I'm telling you this. I'm telling you this because I'm trying to be honest. I'm telling you this because I know boxing. See, during this pandemic time, there had been work done, there had been cloud chasing, there had been contracts signed, and now, as we approach the summer, as we approach there doing human trial testing, Everything's about to come to an end. And now, boxing probably will resume this summer. And as we go into this summer with boxing, only the strong will survive. Only the strong will back up everything they said during the harsh times. Only the true champion would do that. I don't have no doubt that Mikey Garcia would try. To be a little man, he has a heart of a big man. But also, keep in mind, the welterweight division always been heating up. The 154 pound, they're heating up. The 168, 160, they're heating up. They would be the talk. Of the boxing world all the way to heavyweight the bigger guys are now are the sweet science they are the entertainment they are the paydays Mikey Garcia is trying to get that payday he trying to he trying to retire in a high fashion in a high form I get it but Mikey Garcia you could not get through a Keith Thurman I'm sorry you cannot get through an Earl Spence Jr. You fail once, you will fail again. I'm sorry, Mikey Garcia. You're a great fighter. You had a great career. Sometimes you can bite off more than you can chew. So I'm here to tell you right now, don't bite off more than you can chew. Sean Porter is a strong fighter. He's an older fighter. He's a more experienced fighter. He will get to you any way he can. And I think you know that. So, my question is to you, my brothers and sisters, my supportive chat, my supportive subscribers, the question I ask to you what do Mikey Garcia has that would keep Sean Porter from doing his work from coming forward from bogarting showing his strength bagging him in the corner then go to work non-stop the body shots that, that Mikey Garcia would throw out. They will not slow Sean Porter down. Earl Spence is a different type of breed. He's a different type of body puncher. Mikey Garcia cannot hold. I repeat, he cannot hold Sean Porter back. Now, when he say he wants Sean Porter, 
when he say he wants to be the top welterweight. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to Garcia family. I'm sorry to the Garcia gym. I'm sorry to Mikey Garcia. It won't happen, baby. It won't happen. I am KQ. KC Boxing Network. If you like the content of this video, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon. You will get notified every time I do a video or a live stream. Keep in mind, I come on Monday through Friday at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. And on Saturday mornings, I come on at 10.30 a.m. Central Time. And I want to say thank you to all my subscribers for your understanding today. Moms is resting. Mom is doing great. All I ask is for your prayers. And I will be in my rightful place tomorrow at 1 o'clock p.m. Central Time. So with that, shout out to the almighty LDBC. Shout out to all. I mean all my subscribers. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you.